In the ancient forests of the Carboniferous and Permian periods, long before flowering plants appeared, a strange group of plants blurred the line between old and new. These were the seed ferns, and among them Medullosa was one of the most remarkable. At first glance it resembled a giant fern, with broad, elegant fronds forming a canopy of delicate leaflets. But hidden within those fronds were structures no true fern possessed seeds. Medullosa reproduced with seeds instead of spores, combining a fern-like body with the reproductive strategy of later seed plants. Its stems were thick, richly vascularized, and often supported by a mesh of fiber that gave strength to a surprisingly large plant. In some species the fronds stretched several meters, forming dense understories in swampy landscapes. The seeds themselves were complex, surrounded by protective layers that allowed Medullosa to survive in drier or unstable environments where spores would fail. This combination of ancient form and advanced reproduction makes seed ferns one of evolution's boldest experiments. They represent a transitional world where plants were searching for new ways to spread across the land. Although seed ferns eventually vanished, the idea they pioneered using seeds to safeguard the next generation reshaped plant evolution forever. Every gymnosperm and every flowering plant reflects the legacy of Medullosa, the fern that carried the future in its leaves.